Ando. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa, stop! <laughs> yeah. Hold <laughs> it down, you know the. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, wait, what's happening? Probably the wrong stage. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do this anyway. It's time because Ice Counter is one hit. Yeah, I can see it. Button check. Give me one second, God. I'll be right back for the match starts. Don't worry, I'll be right here. Alright, so what's up, y'all? It's just me, you, me and you, you and I. So, who do you guys think got it? Oh, wait, I can do the predictions things. Oh, I gotta do the predictions, guys. Alright. Alright, here we go, here we go. Was it actually laggy? I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. So how do I do the predictions? Can you set up a prediction thing on who's gonna win the match? Alright, all right, I'm here. Oh, hey, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Battlefield? Does Ice Climbers like, want this? I feel like this is even worse than FD. Yeah, I feel like this is like the worst thing possible. Uh, what do we know? We play sorties. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what's going on in the mind of Captain B man. I think that's what the CT team means. Mm -hmm, Cause also in the last uh, in the last qualifier, Cat Remix also was in it, but he went uh, zero suit Samus, and I think he went like one and two, or he lost his round one and then he DQ'd. It was something like that. So I'm glad to see uh, him actually playing his main. What is this? What is this? Like, this, is, this is a lot. Someone in the chat did say that this matchup was like bad and so like it's time to get a hit. I, you know, actually we thought this would be a bad pick, but I think I understand. I think it being such a small stage is actually good for Ice Climber. Why is that? Be because Ice Climber need, needs to get a hit. And we saw when he got a hit, it was a lot of damage stacked onto Palutena. So I think that's literally just the basic. That was, that was very smart. That's pretty good. That was a Captain Remix play right there. It, even either that was really smart because knew that was gonna roll as a panic option, or that was just like a down smash because it's the fastest smash that I have. What happened there? A uh, smash happened. Same bot. Alright. <laughs> yeah, knowing well, me, I would have SD there. Yep. Well, SD there too. <laughs> right there at the ledge. Yeah, we got him an ice block. Not expecting that. What? Wait, wait, is this crazy? Wait, is this crazy? Is this crazy? Mark, question mark, question mark. What's going on? What's going on? Are you dead? Okay. I'm honestly surprised. Oh, oh my god, did you see that? That's the ledge trump. The ledge trump with Nana. That's cheap. What is this, man? I don't want to fight against this. <laughs> I don't want to fight this, bro. I think, honestly, Ice Climber is pretty cool. Loki kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, when I when I played melee, uh, I played ice climbers or Marth. But when I only played ice climbers, I would only wobble. <laughs> it's just the best I thing think to I, do. It's just the best thing to do. I feel like this is one hell of a character to pick up, bro. Imagine somebody like, imagine somebody like playing like a, a broken sortie or like just being like a defined sortie player and just yeah. having like a secondary ice climber or something. You think that's it's random as hell. Maybe I'm trying to tell you something. You trying to tell me to play Ice Climbers? Hey, you'd be a crazy IC. I would be insane. Yo, you. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine it. Yo, look at this. You can't tell. Yo, imagine you doing this, people. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make it look so cheap, bro. People are gonna be like, yo, if you pick this up and you start doing people, I guarantee people will call it brain dead. I guarantee you. You think so? Cause guarantee it's me. Cause it's because, me. bro, I, I guarantee you. Because you're going to pick it against somebody that don't deserve to have this happen, bro. Damn, I should pick up Ice Climbers. Low key. Yo, this is, oh. this is the move. This is the move. Yo, just imagine your Ice Climbers. You can even be trolling, bro. But just imagine, like, just the fundies, bro. And then just smash attacking people. And I got to learn the D-Sinks. Just got to learn the basic D-Sinks. No, nothing too crazy. Just some basic D-Sinks. I, I think you can do it, bro. 
I think so too. I think I'm the chosen one. This <laughs> <laughs> time we're back in meta. I'm, I'm just saying, man. The Goblin Ice Climb is be crazy. He asked uh, Remax for some lessons, maybe. That's yeah, I will. I will. I'll ask around a desync, how to footstool, all that jazz. How to do the the ledge trump. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's that's important. That's important. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like if you get hit somebody with that ledge trump, it's a wrap. Yeah. So, what do you think Toru is gonna do? I feel like Toru also went into that match confident that he got Battlefield, and that was like his go-to from now on. But now that he lost on Battlefield, it's kind of like, what do I do? Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. Go FD. All right. Be honest. So when you play in Wi-Fi tournaments. Well, you don't play Wi-Fi tournaments, but if you were to play a Wi-Fi tournament, are you the person who picks the stage, or do you leave the stage on random and let your opponent pick it? Oh, it's all random, bro. Always no, random? No, no, no. I, I, I would like to do the random thing, but I also have, like, a weird feeling that, like, it'll just mess up for some reason, and then, like, now we're playing on, like, PS3, and then <laughs> Curse would be out in the chat. Yeah. I'm not trying to have that. So I, I would want to pick, but I, I feel like I just have to put it on random and just be like, yeah, pick the stage. I never, ever pick the stage. Yeah, I feel like I gotta go on random. And sometimes because of that, we go to stages that... Yo, that's so cheap that right no there. You see that? That almost Look. killed. Yo, you could do this. <laughs> <laughs> you think I could do what like Captain Remix is doing in 30 days? Yeah, bro. 30 days or less? Oh, yeah, facts. Facts, that's facts. I, I, I think you can. Look right. Is that stock? Nah. Like, so what? All right. That character got two backwards. <laughs> Both killing. Oh yeah. my. Low key, Ice Comet's moves are way too strong on the low. Like you back. You know what's crazy? What's up? You know how Ike, do it, or Ike and Roy, like characters like that, they do the drop down from platform back here. Yeah. This character does too. Yeah, and it's plus on shield. That's crazy. And then you get back there somebody's shield and then side B their shield after because they're stuck. And then you do the desync uh, blizzard Wait, they're afterwards. trying to do the footstool thing. That is so yeah. broken. What is? Yo. Yo, Goblin. Hey, honestly. Yo, Remix, got, buddy. Because I, they were, I'm a fan. It's because they were desynced already because he was hitting their shield with the down B already. Yeah. Oh, does that mean if you wait? If you have Nana side being someone's shield and you grab them as Popo, can't you have Nana do a smash attack yeah, afterwards if you yeah. grab them immediately? That's crazy. Wow. We're gonna bring ice timers back, bro. This is gonna be a bunch of ICs right now. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like more people could play this. I, I really do. Mm, I feel the same way. I, I think it's low-key stupid. I think it's high-key stupid. I, I think Ice Carver is dumb. Like, really rough. That's it. They're too like, strong. This they're, they're too strong. It's rough. It, this matchup is obviously rough for Ice Climbers and Kazuri Max is playing it really well. And Toru, like, obviously doesn't know, like, what to do in a lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, when they're separated, like, Toru's not, like, capitalizing. You know, there's, a certain, there's certain tricks. Like, you know, you back the Popo and you smash, you charge a smash attack in the direction that you threw him at and then Nana runs past you and you get the fully charged F smash and whatnot. Like, just things like that is what Toro needs to be focused on. Like, separating and, like, picking the character apart. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, like, super important. But if you don't know how to do that, then yeah, you get rolled. You get you get super rolled. I remember I played, I played Ice Climbers offline in MDVA. And they were actually pretty decent doing some decent stuff. But I remember I was just like, all right, I'm going to separate you. I'm going to kill Nana. And then we're going to fight one-on-one. Mono y mono. And then once that, once you make that happen, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I agree. But but it, it gets tough, bro. Yeah. Uh, it, also, it some here's some crazy tech that most people don't know about Ice Climbers. So mm -hmm. if you uh, are separated from Nana, and she goes into a tech situation, uh, she will always neutral get up. So she'll miss really? tech, she'll miss tech, and then she'll neutral get up. Really? Yeah, and then she'll start running frame as soon as she gets up. So you can literally just charge like a smash attack when you have Nana in a tech situation, 
And she'll neutral get up and you just hit her. Like a smash for a jab block. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Because, because Popo can't do anything about it. Yeah, because he's not synced. So if you down tilt both, can you just run up and... No, no, no. no. Or, do, if or are they still synced at that point? I think if they're, they're both... Not, they're both synced in that point. But if it's, ju if, if it's just Nana in a tech situation. Okay. Or if at least they're not nearby. I don't know what like the distance radiant the ra uh, distance is for uh, the same. This is actually a good pick, by the way. Yeah, I like this pick a lot. I feel like if you don't know how to fight against Ice Primers and a sword, you would definitely be the move. Mm -hmm. What do I do against this thing? What does Roy do? Yeah, how, how does he do against this creature? I think, I think he kind of bobs Ice Climbers. Yeah, you, you gotta play it right though. But I feel like that's any character against Ice Climbers. Bro, I feel like Roy doesn't allow creative freedom if you're playing against him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let me express myself when I play against you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to sauce and you just be like, yeah, no. And nah, I'm like, alright, man. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. Alright, I get it. I'd be so tight when I play you sometimes. I'd be like, yo, why? <laughs> why does this character work like that, bro? Yeah, I definitely feel that. Oh my. All these D-Sings, you see that down there? Honestly, I feel like he just needs to down air more. He needs to down air more and only hit one of them. That's it. That was so good. That was nice. Alright. Just, oh, that was good. I didn't know and not have an air dodge like that. Not from like down and left. Alright. This is just down tilt and then read the tech. That's what this is right now. Cause you have you have no reason to be like fighting not Popo or Sopo. You can just like mash down tilt because you can't do anything. So yeah, that's an attempt. Yeah, but yet you, you just gotta read the tag. I feel like that jab is so bad on shield. Uh, the the ice camera jab. Uh, when you just have Popo. I think when he did the jab once with his shield, he probably could have just like, uh, like F smashed him on the shield or something like that. Or probably. Dude, you gotta really be looking out for stuff like that. I this might be it he though. should be dead here. Yeah, he, he can capitalize on being off stage, but he's not gonna be able to do that. Up B out of shield probably, no? I need to see some grabs. Or, or up B out of shield would be a really good answer to these side views. Yeah. A counter. Oh, I was up there. Uh, that grab will take it too, huh? Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so now you have to deal with this uh, this wall of Ice Climber again running at you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to separate them. Find an opening when you can, but it's really oh, hard. Dead. Oh, yeah, SD. I told you I would have SD'd earlier. That was pretty sorry. Wait, they're separated. Uh. If you side beats your shields, so you can't do anything. See, right there. Yeah. You saw it? Yeah, you gotta really, really attack. Look. Oh, but you can. Oh, but since, attack. But since she was synced, he, he rolled in. But on the last time, he was on a pop. Uh, Nana was on a platform. She missed the tech. And then she knew she got him. I think that was like one of the biggest things I noticed about. Uh... I wonder if it's always been like that, though. I don't remember it being like that. I thought it was more decent stuff happening. Uh, yeah, this is tough right here. Nice. I think off it had to go off stage in that situation. Not here though. Wait, what the heck? Oh wait, that wait, was the biggest whoa. Nana SD bait in NA. Yo, Nana almost clipped that. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Like, see, why is that little up there killing at 130? What business does it have doing that? <laughs> Personally, I don't know.